Sex offender who was on the run for almost two weeks was captured Wednesday night, but law enforcement says it was no easy task. And Daniel Kemp is a level three sex offender. He was wanted for failure to register as a sex offender and a probation violation. When he found out the police were on his trail, he took off, leaving agents hunting for him for weeks. Care for us, Kayla Reardon talked with special response team about why this case was so different. Caitlin? Well, Bob and Ashley, Daniel Kemp disappeared on September 27th. His military training willingness and know-how kept him from ending up in custody for, as you mentioned, almost two whole weeks. But while special agents say he gave them a run for their money, they never gave up. Well, he had only been at this house less than four hours. It was here where level three sex offender and fugitive Daniel Kemp was finally captured after nearly two weeks on the run. Team come in here off Vermont. We had a team come in off Illinois. The rest of us came in from the front. That way we just had the house completely surrounded because we know how fast he can run and how slippery he can be. In late September, Kemp was spotted near Albert Pike and Music Mountain in Garland County. He took off from police running, then swam parts of Lake Hamilton to escape. Eventually, he disappeared into the woods, shoeless and alone. According to police, Kemp was at an advantage with military experience in SEER training, which stands for survival, evasion, resistance and escape. He was able to utilize um, the terrain and the outdoors, the woods, a survivalist type mentality. He was very, very good at that. He managed to get away repeatedly. During the last couple weeks, we've been going out at night purposely for being able to use night vision and the thermal technology, you know, knowing there's not going to be a whole lot of people in the woods. This is what it would look like when you're looking at someone with thermal imaging in the woods at night. But if you take that away, it's almost impossible to see somebody hiding in the woods. After many long nights and multiple agencies, a tip finally led to Kemp's capture. I did comment. I did a good job. You know, I kept y'all on the run for a while, and, and I acknowledge that he was definitely tough to catch. Agent Emerson says ultimately 20 to 25 agents from State Police Aviation, Arkansas Department of Corrections K-9 Unit, and the Arkansas Community Corrections Special Response Team were finally able to catch up with Kemp.